viewers, this is BVI Channel 1. My name is Queen Madu and you're welcome to another segment of Reason with Queen. So there's this trending video that is going viral about a mother-in-law that was praying for her daughter-in-law and her son. So uh, before I dive into the story, I want you guys to watch the clip. You send the video, right? Yes, that is it. So this woman boldly in her son's wording came up to say she has rejected so many women and she knows the reason why she picked this one. So the reason why she picked this one, this one is not going to disappoint her. This one, this one, this one, uh, uh. this is crazy. Yo. This is really crazy. I really want you guys to drop your opinion on this. You know, I always avoid discussions like this because a lot of misconceptions come up with mother-in-law, father-in-law, daughter-in-law. When it comes to marriage, you just have to be wise, you just have to be understanding, you understand? Because what, what works for A might not work for B, and understanding, you know, dealing with human beings is the most difficult things on earth, you understand? Dealing with human beings are very, very difficult, so you have to be, you have to be wise, kind of like, you just, you just have to understand differently so that you can deal with people if not marriages are, i'm not sure marriages are going to work that's just the truth so i always talk about you see understanding and tolerance but today our main focus is why this woman boldly came to her son's wedding to offer such thing and see she has rejected a lot of people i feel like when you are a man, when you are man enough and you have concluded in your heart you want to start a family, you have no business with being influenced by any other person, not even your pastor. Nobody should choose a life partner. Nobody should choose who you should do life with. Because the truth is that you are going to live with this person for the rest of your life. If you are still a mommy's boy, you have no business with with family you have no business with starting your own family because the truth is that when you start your family they come first the rest are now extended family no matter how much you're trying to make it sound like uh, it's difficult or anything the truth is that from your own family side it is now an extended family from your own wife's side it is an extended family anything that is coming in between that uh, in, in between your union is now third party if you actually want that nuclear family to work that is what people don't understand people just want to meddle in that affairs people want to put themselves in between and it used to cause a lot of rifts how can you be proud to come to your son's wedding and say you chose a wife for him in 2024 and you are proud of it it shows that you're looking for who you can control. You're looking for who you can manipulate. You're looking for who you... Why, why are you keen in the affairs that have to do with your son starting the family? I'm not saying that you shouldn't be interested. You should be. You should give advice when necessary. You should do your background check. But I'm frankly coming to say you rejected a lot of women. So that... And you chose this one. And you know the reason why you chose this one. It doesn't make sense to me. It shows that your son is just a memory's boy and he's not yet ready for marriage. And if even what her own marriage says, even look and say she's even the one that is doing the controlling. Because when it comes to couple prayer, it is the man that makes the prayer, the husband that makes the prayer. But the man is seated while the wife stood up and was uttering all those things she was saying. I'm wishing them good luck, oh, and I pray that it is not the way we have it in our head that is going to work but we know how all these things plays out we, we we already know the end from the beginning it's already smelling the red flags are just too much this is a this is a mother-in-law that can wake up one morning and call you and tell you and and give an actually just demand you ask her she tell you hey, she be, you know i was the one that chose you 
there is a reason for that you need to give people benefit of the doubt women that are coming into marriages are from other family they were trained by someone they are someone's treasure they were loved at home you don't treat them like commodity you don't treat them like something you can discard you treat them like the precious human beings that they are it is not easy to accept to do life with someone and start up a family with that person your prayer should be let that lady come from a good home let that lady be good for your your, your son so that when they produce their own children they will produce good legacies that will cont that, that the family will continue with no you're picking on things that are unnecessary that is why there are a lot of problem and rift in families these days you just no people are so tense people take this thing so seriously when they are not serious when they are not they are not something you should kill yourself about it's something you should you should adore with love, accommodation, tolerance, and spirituality. You understand? You pray and you ask God for direction, wisdom, and understanding. And you will see that families will be going smoothly. But when you already have this, this you're already coming in with war. You feel like, yes, eh, eh, this girl now, she's too fair. She's going to give my child trouble. This girl, she's too educated. She's going to give my child trouble. This one, oh, she's too career wise. She's going to give my child. You know, unnecessary things that should have never bothered you. Ah, this one, it's like, I don't do it. She used to cook on salad. This one, it's like her leg is gay. This one, it's like her leg. You know, things that, that, that are not necessary. They bother you. And you may end up even choosing the worst person for your son. Because let me tell you the truth. When people already know your history, they already know who you are. They've already, they know what you can do. Someone can pretend just to get in, in, in. And when that person finally does, you will be the first person she's going to show who she is. And that is the problem. So we need to learn the difference in all of this and make our choices. You know, put our scale of preference in the way that is going to suit you and suit everyone around you. That is it today on Reason with Queen. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until I come your way next time, I remain your humble girl, Queen Maddie. Stay well, stay safe.